I love this story. You're going to too. Their wins don't come in home runs or in pitches. They're measured in heart and in courage. In fact, every player on this field is competing just to live life like everybody else. And tonight, reporter Ashley Hardway is taking you inside the game that has no losers. You guys ready to play baseball? Cincinnati Reds are the visiting team tonight, so they're going to take the batting position first. Jessica, Ethan, Zoe, Preston. Who we got up first? We got Ethan coming up. This is the Miracle League. Whoa, what a swing. Made up of children and adults from 5 to 63 with needs that are a little different. These players all have their own unique challenges. Some are physical, some are mental. But the size of their hearts and the strength of their wills are second to none. There wasn't always an area like this where children with special needs could play. In fact, when they would try to play ball in traditional fields, when the fields would get muddy, their wheelchairs or walkers would get stuck, and it really didn't make for a very good time. Well, one father had a dream, and building all of this, I guess you could say it was a miracle. The Murraysville Miracle Field is a dream come to life for George O'Donnell. His son, Georgie, was born with a host of health problems. The doctors had told us that, you know, to, that we should consider putting him in a home because he'll never walk, he won't be able to talk, he won't be able to see, he won't be able to do anything. But the O'Donnells didn't give up on Georgie and got him interested in baseball. Knowing these precious players would need a ray of hope, George asked the Murraysville Export Rotary Club for help. I said, I'd like to build a miracle field. And lo and behold, we all got together and started raising money. My dream came true. I got the field. High five. It's all adapted for wheelchair walkers. The field is all rubber. The walking trail was partly paved. The other part is concrete. The outfield has plenty of helpers, and the stands are full. Come on, Ethan, you can do it. This league plays hard with games four days a week. Players like Josh Myers couldn't wait to start the season. He was excited, but I think we were more excited. We had a lot of uh, medical issues in the beginning, and just to see him be able to do this is just an awesome experience for us. I can't explain it. You're so proud just to see him out there. The league is open, warm, allowing one young man to walk on, suit up, and play mid-game. There you go, Jay. Hit the ball. Run the first. I had wished years ago that I would have done, thought about this and done it, but everything comes in God's time, not mine. These kids here, the, the little ones, are going to be so much better in 10 years from now. It's just fantastic to know he's learning things and can do something that he normally couldn't do. It's good for all of them. They're all helping each other. The hope now is that as these smiles grow, so too will the teams for all who want a league of their own. You did it! You did it! You did it! Where, where would we be right now if we had to listen to those people that said, put him in a home, he'll never do anything. Well, he's doing everything. Our son is here today because we as parents cared. I'm just proud. I'm proud, Dad. At the Miracle Field in Westmoreland County, Ashley Hardway, Channel 4 Action News. You know, there really is something amazing and healing about baseball. The fact that these young people can play the game and experience it, just like the, the, the big leaguers. You have a tear in your eye there. Um, you more than okay? that. You okay? I am going to be just fine. Great story. Wonderful story. I hate you, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs>